hello guys in this video tutorial uh, the basic functions related to date will be covered so let's start with the function last day so last day returns the date of the last day of the month that contains the date suppose we want to find the last day of the um, system date so we write first select sys date system date from goal it's 8 april 2023 <coughs> so we are right select last day of this system date from dual it's 30th april so the last day of this current month will be 30th april we can uh, write here any day for example we write uh, 1st December 2022 we will write here December it only accept um, when we write month like this so the last day of 20 December 22 was a uh, 31 uh, December uh, we can use this function uh, in a variety of uh, ways so if uh, we talk about our existing table uh, suppose select steric from course registration this is a table which contains the registration date of the particular course in uh, relevant subjects so if we write select uh, student id and last day of dated from course registration so it will be like this so last day of every student uh, is uh, displayed uh, if we only want to uh, retrieve the day so we will use the function to character to character of last day and we will write here uh, day from course registration so these are the days the uh, these are the days of the last date of the uh, date dated uh, function uh, dated attribute and uh, that attribute is the uh, course registration date of every uh, student next day the next day returns the date of the first weekday named by the character that is later than the date date the return type is always date regardless of the data type of the date the argument character must be a day of the week in the data language of your session either the full name or an abbreviation so let's go with the example we will write select next day next day for example next day of system day uh, we want to search for friday next friday date from dual so the next friday will be on 14th april uh, we can write here any date suppose we write um, first june may Two thousand twenty three. So the first Friday of the month May two thousand twenty three will be uh, on the fifth May. 
so this was all about the uh, next day uh, function now we come to the another function which is called mm, add months so add months basically add number uh, the number with the months and display you uh, the result so let's take example uh, select add months for example we write today's date system date which is uh, April 8 April 2023 and we add three months from 12 the result will be 8 July today is the 8 April so on the next uh, when we add three months it will be May June July so the next date will be uh, after three months will be uh, 8 July there is a lot of use of this function uh, we can add any number uh, based on some time bound we can uh, add any number of months as a reminder for uh, organization so this function has a lot of um, uses we can also apply this on our table uh, dated that is a column that it is a column of the uh, registration course station table course registration we also display the date and student id student id date add months and now we check the result So we write date, dated. There is no need of uh, enclosing it in the course. So you can see student ID. This is the enrollment date, registration date, and after adding six months, the uh, uh, date, new date, is displayed here. We can choose com column alias as a uh, last as a last date for example which is the course registration or closing date so it the um, column name is now uh, as uh, column name is now last date as uh, written in the uh, main query so this was all about the eight months uh, if 